Welcome back. Now once you complete the communication stage, you can then move to the autoresponder stage of your campaign setup. Now you should have already gone to your settings area and you should already have your integration set up with the autoresponder or autoresponders that you use and you would use with your UpViral system since one of the main goals will be to add names to your existing autoresponder list. So what you're going to do here is you're going to select the autoresponder that you're going to use with this campaign. Now obviously if you have more than one autoresponder for more than one use, you can use different autoresponders for different campaigns. We're going to set up our MailChimp autoresponder for this campaign. And when that happens, you'll notice then that UpViral will then have a connection to the insight of your MailChimp account or whichever autoresponder you're using. What you can do then is you can set up the individual list that you'll be using with the campaign. We can decide whether we're going to use double opt-in with this individual autoresponder. And it's typically recommended that you do use double opt-in. However, this is a choice. You can turn it off or you can toggle it on. If you want the individual to be tagged, you can write in a tag that will be added to your subscriber when they are added. And we're going to add in a tag. Now by default, remove unsubscribe is turned off. So what this means is that an individual can unsubscribe from your campaign, but they can still be added to your email marketing list. We can make it so that the individual can be removed from both at the same time. And we're going to save our work. And what we can do here is we want to make sure that our fields are going to be mapped correctly. And you'll notice that the email field will go to the email field in the autoresponder. The name field in AppViral will go to the name field in the autoresponder. There is a personal invite link. And if we want to map that additional field, we can. We're not going to map that field. And at this point, we want to test our autoresponder. So what we're going to do here is we're going to open the test and then click save. And we now see the subscriber added to our MailChimp account. And we see the tag that we added inside of a viral. So we confirm that it is working. Okay, so with that, thanks. And I will see you in another video.